If you're doing a trailer build, stop everything you're doing and watch this. Welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out amazing pressure washing business advice to beginners. As, and as you guys can see in the background here, I have the trailer all ready to go for our trailer build. You know I have been promoting this for a while now. It's going to be episode 80, which is the episode you guys are watching right now, all the way to episode 90. Guys, we're going to do a complete trailer build together. How to put, uh, how to plumb your tank, how to put the marketing on the back of your vehicle, how to install a bypass line on your unloader valve, like the whole thing. And guess what, guys? Guess what? In episode 90, you guys are going to get to see me take this rig out into the field and do around $1,500 to $2,000 in one day with it. So you guys get to see the entire process. And you know what? It does not matter if you're new to the industry or you're an old head like me. There's going to be something in this trailer build that is going to help you in your business. And, 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 and for, this, uh, for the first episode, guys, we're going to do... Uh, for episode one, uh, I'm sorry, this episode, but part one, for part one of this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to get the trailer ready for a build. As you can see, the trailer is brand spanking new. It is only two months old. This is a 2023 six by eight trailer, but we're going to paint it and I'm going to go ahead and put that on time lapse for you guys. And then I will catch you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, here we are. You know, whenever you're going to do a, a trailer build, the very first thing that you have to do is prep your trailer for the build. And, and what you see me doing here with uh, blue painter's tape, uh, I am covering up all the, the stickers, the lights, anything that I do not want to, uh, you know, over, uh, put paint on, you know, um, overspray from the paint. So that's what you're going to see me doing here. And I, I got a plastic bag that I'm going to put over the lights in the back and then uh, if you're wondering about where I got this trailer now so I've been searching marketplace for a couple weeks I wouldn't say two three weeks and the prices of trailers were just ridiculous I mean you know uh, the cheapest trailer that I found on there which was like a five by eight was for 1200 bucks so I ended up getting this brand new a tractor supply and it only cost 14.99 this is a six by eight foot trailer so now in your area of the whatever part of the country you're in you may be able to find really good deals on marketplace for a trailer so i recommend that first like i said i did try but here in my area the dmv dc maryland and virginia area guys i mean the the trailer prices the used market is just not there i mean the prices are just through the roof so but anyway the bottom line is you know uh, that's what i'm doing here is just prepping for uh painting and the, the painting that we're using here is actually a a truck bed liner it's like that rhino tough stuff um i'm uh, by the way and i'm going to mention this a lot of times uh throughout this entire build everything that you will need in order to get this job done is going to be in the description below including this can of paint here that you see this this rhino liner stuff uh is in the description below so you can you can get it and i was really 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 happy with the results of it you guys are going to get to see in the end here we're going to do a walkthrough and, I, and i'll show you up close but uh what i really wanted to talk to you guys about is whether or not a trailer build is right for you and that is you know one of the main questions that you guys might be asking yourself so you have uh, basically i want to say as a new guy three main options right you can go with a truck build you can go with the van build or you can go with a trailer build. Now, this is this is why I think you should go with a trailer build. I know you guys, for example, you're watching a lot of videos of a lot of different content creators, guys like uh, Austin Davis or Pink Flamingo. And, and well, Pink Flamingo is a great example because he has an Isuzu NPR. 
And uh, I know Austin Davis, he has a, a truck built. So um, what you don't always see with those guys is that, you know, they're going to have personal vehicles, right? So, you know, when you guys are just starting out, you might not have the finances to have multiple vehicles like that. So that's why really I suggest a trailer because like if you have a truck or even an SUV, you can haul the trailer around to do your jobs. And then when you go home, you could just disengage from the trailer and move about your day as normal. That's what I would do. Now, if you have the money and you can have, you know, a couple separate vehicles, you can have a personal vehicle plus a truck. I would definitely go with the truck. But uh, this is why, I mean, most of you guys listening, you're just not going to be able to do that. Like, for example, Mr. Bubbles, you know, I have a personal vehicle. My personal vehicle is a um, Ford Expedition. And then so when I'm driving around town, I'm going to go out to dinner, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm driving my, my Expedition. And then when I'm working, doing estimates and stuff like that, I'm usually in one of the trucks. So that's my point there. And then a van build, definitely, definitely not, because the problem that I have with the van builds is the, you know, we carry around a lot of toxic chemicals, guys, and, and you don't want to, you do not want to be smelling that. You know, we don't really know the long-term effects of, of, of smelling something like that in an enclosed area. So that's another reason why I like the trailer, because the fumes are just venting all the way out. And you see here, I just finished round one, <clears throat> the first application. I did a total of two applications with the with that with that one can right there and I mean this stuff is guys this stuff is no joke it's like basically putting um tar or liquid rubber on your on your trailer and not everybody does this by the way the reason why I personally like to do it you know um it, it just makes more sense guys because you're protecting your equipment you know my goal is to get well, your goal as well should be that, you know, you want to get six to 10, let's say seven to 10 years out of your trailer. Now, of course, this trailer throughout the years is going to go through a lot of modifications. We might put a bigger tank on it. We might put a bigger machine. But the bottom line is the trailer, these boards here, guys, they are going to last an extremely long time time because like i said i mean that sh guys i mean that thing is no joke it'll get on there i remember a trailer i had a few years back i mean and, and this was way before i started doing this uh the after about two seasons I, I stepped on the trailer my foot went right through the board i mean the board just becomes so brittle because of the uh because of all the chemicals but anyway so i definitely recommend you guys get this stuff it was like i want to say Right around around a hundred bucks for the can. So I mean, for a hundred bucks, guys, and you're you, you know you're getting what seven, eight, eight, nine, ten years out of a trailer because of it. Maybe you're gonna get an extra four or five years out of it because of it. So I definitely recommend that. And then also something I'm going to mention quite often throughout this build is that I actually have a blueprint uh, for how I do a build. You know, I've done a little over fifty builds since I started my my business. You know. Throughout the years, you guys got to remember, um, next year I'm going into my 12th year. This is my 11th year in the business. So I have gone through so many different types of builds, enclosed trailer, uh, utility trailers, truck builds, and, and, and whatnot. So I have a blueprint, and that blueprint is just like a step-by-step, -step, like, hey, do this first, do this second, and so forth. So um, I will send that to you guys. As always, my email, will, you will find it in the description below. And here, oh, oh by the way, you guys, uh, this is the up close here of the trailer. As you can see here, like I said, really, 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 really happy with the result of it. Um, can't say enough good stuff about this. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to get it out in the field and, and kind of test it out there. But, uh, but yeah, you guys can see there it is. No joke. It looks, it already looks way way better. But I was saying about my email, you will find it in the description below. Also, you will find it in the, the top section of the comment section. So I always pin it right there. But anyway, guys, email me. I absolutely love it when you guys uh, uh, interact with me and I answer every single one of my emails without fault. And I will email you that list. And then plus with that list, you're going to essentially be able to follow along because that is also the the actual basically like the script of my entire series so and it's going to help you guys out when you're doing your your build 
you can literally print this out and, see, and, and be like, yeah, hey, Mr. Bubble says do this first. Let me do this first. Then I got to do this. Like in the next part, we're going to be doing the the marketing in the back of the vehicle and all of that. But uh, but yeah, we're wrapping up here, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys over in the shop. We're going to do a walk around of the trailer. All right, guys, that took a little bit of elbow grease, but we are 100% done with the, the first phase of um, a trailer build which is the the preparation the the trailer preparation and then in a second here we're going to flip the camera around and i'm going to do a complete walkthrough so you guys can get a, a closer look i am really 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 happy with how this turned out but i wanted to let you know too that at the end of this uh, walk around i'm going to take you guys into my shop and we're going to do a breakdown of the of the most important tools that you're going to need in order to get your 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 rig system built so let's turn this camera around okay there you have it guys um you can see here the blue tape is still on there of course we're going to take this off when we start doing the build i just you know covered up all of the the different stickers and the lights and whatnot and then uh, <clears throat> the bed liner um that i put on here it's like that rhino tough guys i'm really really happy with how this turned out you can see how coarse it is and this was uh two 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 coats um the can here i can show you here this is what it is and of course you know um uh guys this is going to be in the description below it's called herculean row on bed liner really really happy guys this right here the trailer having um having done this uh i mean i'm gonna get you know seven to ten years easy easy out of the tr this trailer by doing this so really 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 happy highly recommend you guys do this and like i said you know if i gotta walk if i gotta walk on it or you know um you know uh, when i gotta step on the trailer for whatever reason it is really really coarse and so it's not going to be it's like anti-slippery so it's just a quick walk around here you see the bags are still here covered up the 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 lights really good you can see how good this really looks really professional and like I said, this is just extending the life of my uh, of my trailer, you know, so I can get a good seven, eight, nine, or ten years out of it. So there you have it, guys. You know, I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, how much better it is when you when you're prepping your trailer. How much better it is, you know, if you if you put uh, protection down on the wood to protect it against the sh so there you have it um and again i mentioned this earlier uh if you guys want i'll send you the blueprint on how we um we're we're, we're going to do this build it's a step-by-step -step tutorial like step one is you guys um, you guys are watching it now step one is how to prep your trailer for a build and then um and, and, and you go from there so anyway if you guys want me to email you that uh, just go ahead and email me you will find my email in the description below so let's go to the shop and let's do a breakdown of the of the tools for you guys all right guys we're inside the shop and we're going to be going over some of the the, the typical tools the most important tools that you're going to need in order to get this job done and quite frankly guys these tools you're going to use them quite a lot on your business so you want to make sure that you have them i suggest you buy yourself a, a toolbox i would go to something like lowe's i get a lot of the, the cheaper tools at um at harbor freight and then the really expensive drills and stuff like that i go to lowe's or home depot so let's go over it of course the first and foremost you're going to need these right i mean you're not going to be able to do much uh in terms of uh equipment if you don't have your screwdriver so you know enough said about this i mean this is just universal we also this is uh one of the things that we have in our toolbox that is inside of our all of our trucks the next thing that you're going to need you're going to need a set of uh, alligator cl clamps i don't know if you guys have ever seen these but you can tighten these down here so they're very universal and you're definitely going to need a really good pair we have like in we have them in, in in all kinds of different sizes from really big to a little bit smaller so you're definitely going to need that a lot and then also this wrench here as well this is uh, another one that is inside our all of our trucks inside the toolbox of inside our trucks and again we have them in various sizes and so you can adjust it and all that so you're definitely going to need this quite a bit next this is very important um this i have probably two or three of these and and, and this is one of those that is in in a link 
below um, you're gonna you're, you're not gonna be able to do a build without a pipe cutter you see that guys in order to cut hoses and pipes and all kinds of stuff so you need yourself I uh, guys this one tool right here I have used this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times every time um, you know something we gotta we gotta <clears throat> we gotta do something with our uh, with our buffer tank or move one of the hoses around or something this is what we use to cut that next this is very important you wouldn't think so but I bought this at Harbor Freight this is one of the things that we got there uh, originally the big bag came I think it was like 250 zip ties guys you're gonna need zip ties to to uh, you know sometimes we we uh, you have too much line and you have to you know zip tie the lines together so this is very important next on our list of course, you know, when uh, we're talking about plumbing our own tanks and things of that nature, you're going to need uh, good Teflon tape. And also, I'm going to say something else about this, guys. Um, a couple episodes ago, I'm sorry, it wasn't an episode. It was just a, a random video that I put out. But it was about three or four videos before this one, before episode 80. Uh, I, I broke down for you guys exactly how to use Teflon tape. And also, I, I, um, I put together a downstream injector. So just look for that video, how to install a uh, downstream injector. And, and we talked about the Teflon tape on that. So you're not going to be able to do this. And I get this at Lowe's. The other thing is, <clears throat> of course, you know, you're going to need all kinds of hand tools. Guys, this is another one that I, I bought. Uh, I think I got this one at Harbor Freight as well. I have behind me here, you can't see it, but I have two uh, big toolboxes, and they are full of these. I mean, I probably have about, ooh, I would say a good five, maybe to six, seven thousand dollars just worth of hand tools just sitting back here because every day guys you're going to go through all kinds of hand tools and you know you're going to see me all throughout this build use all kinds of different hand tools so you're definitely going to need uh, all kinds of different wrenches next is a really good socket set you know you're going to see me uh, use these quite a bit as we tighten everything out uh, especially when we put together the 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 hose reels in a truck you know uh, putting all the bolts on there and everything so you, you need to make sure and then also you're going to need this constantly not only to touch up your equipment uh, uh, when you're switching stuff out, but also to do the tune-ups and all of that. And uh, this is actually very important. Um, I have a bucket right here, this blue bucket here, guys. If you can see, look, you see that on camera there? Hopefully you can see that really well. It's a bucket full. I mean, it is completely full. It's probably got over 50 of these hose clamps on there, three-quarter inch. And there, there's uh, some different size ones, but these these right here on camera, I'm probably going to go through about a good 30 of these for the build. You're not going to be able to do your build for uh, without this. And again, that's going to be in the description below. Three quarter inch hose clamps. Okay. Next on our list here, this is actually let me get this hose clamp back here so I can show you what this is for. This is one of the most important tools that you will uh, that you're going to need so uh, a, a small super small socket set and then um this one here the size says five five i'm sorry yeah five sixteenths on there you see how small that is guys and what that is for the one purpose of this and i got like five or six of these is to tighten your hose clamps you see that boom tightens it right up so it, it gets real real snug especially when you're putting the the hoses on the on the hose barbs it's really good this is what you need for that. The other thing that you're going to need, again, uh, universal guys, you're not going to be able to do, we're not going to be able to do this build without measuring, right? Uh, what, what's the old saying? You know, cut once, measure twice. I think that's it. Measure twice, cut once, right? So there you go. We're not going to be able to do it without that. I've mentioned this in other videos before. Guys, vice grip. You will not be able to grow and build your pressure washing business if you do not have a proper vice grip this one vice grip has been sitting here for 10 years now guys i bought this originally at harbor freight so make sure you have uh and you use um you know you you i'm sorry you have a really really good vice grip because guys i use this thing a lot next we're going to move on to your your power tools right so um the one thing i wanted to mention you see this and this is a craftsman so it's like the cheaper one i think i got this at home depot but guys uh we're going to use this guy a lot circular saw it's something that uh, especially for your build because we're going to be cutting um you know two by fours and we're going to be cutting all kinds of timber so 
you know, you want to make sure that you, you have one always at your shop because you just never know when you're going to need it. The other thing is, absolutely, guys, guys, why do we always do that as men, right? Every time we hold up a, 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 a drill, we always do that. We go, rah, 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 rah. we just love doing that as men. So, but anyway, again, this is not something I bought at Harbor Freight. Uh, the link to this guy is in the description below. Uh, this this group drill, drill here guys. Oh my god. I mean, it's the one tool that I have used the most throughout my career and th This one thing here I have built uh, This this trailer build that I'm doing here is 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 something like 50 plus uh, um, Rigs that I've built since I started mr. Bubbles. So, you know, this drill has seen a lot And then the final thing that I wanted to show you guys that you would never think you would need and it's probably one of the most important tools uh, power tools that you're going to need is a heat gun and what you actually need a heat gun for guys is uh, a lot of the hoses they're especially commercial hoses especially your suction hoses that you use for your for your buffer tanks at the bottom so they're they're super hard guys super hard almost like PVC and, and they're just not gonna fit on that hose bar so what you do is the last one inch you just go around with the heat gun and you and you heat it up real good and, 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 and the, the hose gets all sort of rubbery you know and then you stick it in there with your with your clamp and then you clamp it while it's while it's still hot and, and then what happens is when it hardens again, it molds itself. It shapes itself to the shape of the hose barb. So definitely not going to be able to, to do it without that. And then what I recommend you guys do is this. Um, to keep it super simple, again, uh, the, the, the build that we're doing is a budget build. So what I would do is I would just go to Harbor Freight and pick up these versions of these things that you saw here. Get yourself a toolbox. The toolbox is going to look something like this. You see this right here, guys? Actually, uh, this is a Harbor Freight toolbox. You see that? I think I, I think I paid like 10 bucks or 12 bucks for this. So get yourself a really good Harbor Freight toolbox. Fill it up with all of these tools. Make sure that you get um, you get your drills and things of that nature. Again, you're not going to be able to do it with the heat gun. Now, the heat gun and everything else is, is in the description below. All of the parts, of course, uh, that I'm using throughout this rig build is in the description below so you guys can follow along and you can order the same stuff that we're using for this rig build. I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and watching this episode. Guys, make sure you tune in to the next episode as we follow this series. In the very next episode, episode 81, we're actually, I'm going to teach you guys how to do two things. One, how to create a, a wand holster for your pressure washing wand. And then the, the most important part to me of the trailer rig, which is the marketing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to install the marketing in the back of uh, your your trailer. So, and then and also guys, I always mention this in every episode that I do. Make sure you email me. I absolutely love it uh, uh, when you guys email me. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you guys and i will send you our blueprint for um for the, for uh, building your own trailer i know that you know especially if you're new to the business and you're building your first trailer it can be a little bit daunting maybe you're having a little bit of anxiety about it don't worry guys that's why i'm, I'm doing this build for you guys but also i put together a blueprint of you know a how-to blueprint step by step all the way through and uh but yeah I, uh, I thank you very much for watching this one, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.